Hey guys, so the first thing we want to show you is how to use the Lego Digital, Lego Digital Designer software. Uh, this software is uh, pretty cool in the fact that you can easily design your robot arms uh, by simply dragging and dropping pieces. Uh, and the best thing is that it prints out, or you can print out, a step-by-step -step building guide. Now the reason that is good for this subject is because you do have limited time in the workshops with the NXT kits, you can't, um, it's annoying fiddling there trying to design this thing. This allows you to design it outside of the workshop, easily take in those step-by-step -step guides and quickly build it and gives you really allows you to utilize your time of the workshop properly programming this thing and, and not fitting there trying to design it. Okay, so you'll get to this home screen here and all you want to do is go into Lego Mindstorms. You got There's a few examples down here which you can check out if you want, but we want to go into free build. Now, like any CAD program, you can zoom in, zoom out using the mouse wheel. You can also orbit around the screen, so rotate it uh, in any axis by holding the right mouse button down and moving your mouse, okay, like so. Uh, now, you've got all your bricks over here. Now, all these bricks may not be within the NXT kits. Um, just ask your tutor uh, if you do have, uh, for the inventory of the NXT kits, or even if they have one, they may not. Um, you might need to do an inventory yourself of what you have. Uh, but basically, yeah, you have all these bricks here, which will all be included in the NXT, possibly. So, all, sorry, all the bricks in, in the NXT kits will be here, but there may be some extras that you don't have. So obviously don't use them, and only use what's in your, ne your NXT kit. You don't want to be using extra bricks um, to design and build your robot, because you may not have them. Okay, so I'll quickly show you how to do a, um, some, basically a piece, if you want. Um... So first off, let's grab a motor. So you notice that the base extends as you, if you keep increasing. Now you notice these up, down, left, and right arrows. Basically, they're just the keyboard arrows. So you can just hit them, and it uses to rotate the piece. Okay, so we're going to try. We're going to basically create a um, the base turret as such, the re the first revolute joint. Um, you don't have to use this design. Obviously, I'm just quickly showing you how you can do it. Okay, so just click to place it there. That's fine. Okay, now we'll want to throw in some connector pins. So, and we're going to throw a gear in. So we'll use these ones here. Now basically, so you need to first get them in proper position. So just using those arrow keys again, like that. Now, if you want to clone an item, you can easily click up here to click on the clone tool, or you can press C. So, and you can easily click and put it in the other put in the other connector. Once you've cloned all the items that you wanted to, just press escape to get out of clone, otherwise you'll still be in clone. Okay, we then want to throw in a gear head. So I'm just choosing a random one here. So again, using the arrow keys to manipulate it to get into the right position. Okay, and you notice that it's simply, basically if it's not in a correct position where it can't go, basically like if it's conflicting with an item, it turns that shadowy grey and you can't actually place it there. But as soon as it's properly connected, you get these green boxes around the connector pins or around the object. So showing that it's connected properly. So put that there. Then let's say we want to put in piece another piece to, to rotate off the gear head. So we'll basically throw in some more connector pins. Okay, put those in there. Again, just pressing C to clone it. And you might need to zoom around and manipulate the screen to get, there we go. Okay, and pressing escape again to get out of clone. And we want to throw in a beam. Again, manipulating it. Okay. And there we go. So you could use that as a, the original Revolute. And again, with some of the uh, pieces, the connector pieces that have more than, allow more than one piece to be connected, uh, if it sits like that, you can easily just drag it down, okay? And you notice that it's now sitting flush with the gear head. Okay, now basically you've done that. So once you've designed your robot arm, you can then go into view, and you can go building guide mode or press F7, F7, okay? And it generates this building guide. Now you can easily just click through, and it shows you how to go about building this uh, design. Okay, just like that. Now, however, 
you can also easily uh, generate the HTML building guide. So to do that, simply go in there. Actually, first I should save it. So let me go back to the build mode. File, save as. Find the appropriate place that you want to save it. So Okay, and then going back to the building mode, F7, and you can go generate HTML building guide. Okay, choose the appropriate folder wherever you want to save it. Press OK, and ge generates the building guide. Okay, and so you get this, basically, and you can just click through it. Okay, and it also shows you all the pieces that you'll need to design your ARM. Now, if you want to take that building instructions off your computer, just remember to take both these two folders. If you only take this folder, uh, the actual HTML file, it stuffs up because you don't actually have the images and everything. Okay, so you need to just take these both and keep them in the same directory. So, for example, say you want to take these elsewhere. Let's just say, for example, I've taken them to another computer and thrown them on the desktop like this. Now I can click on them and do this, and it's still all there. However, if I if I didn't have the building instructions folder, and just the HTML piece, then you'll notice you have no images or anything like that, and it's stuffs up basically. Okay, so that's how you use this Lego digital design software. Pretty easy to use, as you can see. Um, hopefully, that helps with your project.